What's the chow chin chows? Joe's PH Games here and welcome to uh, what could be the start of the final episodes of the Pokemon Secret Gold Egglock. In the last episode, we went to Blackthorn City and talked to Beck and we also had a match with Lance and Claire and sadly it brought us to death the two good Pokemon in Pyro which never got a chance to be its full potential and of course Dex, our front runner. But uh, I did a bit of grinding off screen because we're trying to get ready for the Elite Four. So let's go through the levels at this moment in time. So we have Starkiller, level 87, holding the magnet to boost those electric type moves, which it has one of, of course, that it has Thunderbolt. And it has also got the moves of Ice Fang, Crunch, and Fire Fang. We have new members of the team, and finally, out of its HM slave role, Tycoon, a level 87, with leftovers, and of course it knows the moves, Surf, Waterfall, Ice Beam, and Shockwave. So now, he's a bit more, he's quite more powerful, I'm really happy to be finally using Tycoon here. We have Beck, level 87, with uh, Calm Mind, Psychic. Aurora Spear and Energy Ball, and she's holding the Twisted Spoon to boost us psychic type moves. We have X Kuhn, the Tyranitar, level 87, with the moves Outrage, Strength, Earthquake, and Crunch. And is holding the Soft Sand to boost those ground type moves. We have Mark, level 87, not holding any items at the moment, but I probably should give him an item to hold as well. And he knows the moves Power Whip, Rock Climb. Curse and Hammer Arm. And new member to the team, please welcome Kickstart, level 87 with Flamethrower, Blaze Kick, Sky Uppercut, and Aerial Ace. This part is a this guy is power, seriously. I've been training him up against bug types and the I the Isaiah the Isaac Forest, and he actually did really well against them because the fact this that's really um Around the Viridian Forest and Isaiah Forest, it's probably like the best place to train fire type Pokemon with uh, with the experience codes on. But I think first thing for before we go into Elite Four, let's get an item for our good friend. Mark. I think we should give him the King's Rock because flinching is pretty cool. So we should give him the King's Rock. I know the King's Rock can also be used as an, like an evolutionary stone in this game to uh, evolve Slow King, but the fact is, uh, we don't have a Slow King, so this would be it'd be a good idea to use it as that. Okay, I'm going to save the game rather quickly because I believe our rival should appear soon. So I'm going to save the game. So I know there's another rival fight. Oh, at least I, there should be another rival fight, so I'm going to save the game. Oh. Is the rival fight not going to happen? I always thought like there was another rival fight to happen. Huh. Okay. That's a shame. I oh, wanted one final rival fight. I guess we'll go and do it then. Once you enter this point, you'll be facing the Elite Four. They're really tough. You can only you cannot exit once you've entered. The Pokemon helpers will allow you to pass through to each room. But you must defeat all of the Elite Four before you can challenge the champion. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna face Will. And maybe someone else as well, I don't know. Depends on how long it takes to face Will. But we will see. Okay, so, let's do this. Question of the day for today's episode is... Actually, I don't know. I honestly don't know. And let, let's say, who's your favourite out of the Johto Elite Four? Let me know in the comments section down below who your favourite is out of the whole Johto Elite Four. Bruno, Will... Karen or Koga, let me know in the comments section down below who your favourite is out of all four of them. Let me know. L allow me to introduce myself. My name is Will. And hello again. I have trained all over the world, making my second side Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. 
I can only keep on getting better. Losing is not an option. Here we go. Will. Uh, my favorite Elite Four member has of Jodo has to be Karen. She's a very powerful dark type trainer, and she does really well with her team. I really like it. Okay, so Will here is starting off with an Executor level 78. That's power. But we grinded for the champion. This is what you saw in the last episode. I said I had to grind for the champion. And you saw why in the last episode. Because the fact is, I don't really care about the Elite Four. The Elite Four is not something I worry about. It's the champion I worry about. It's the champion I worry about. The champion is the guy I worry about more than anything in the world. The champion is why I worry. Okay, Jinx coming in now. Well, I guess I'll go for the fire. I keep on going for the fire, thank Oh, thank God you missed with Lovey Kiss. I do not want to deal with Lovey Kiss today. Sokka, you're supposed to be fast. Why aren't you fast? Why aren't you faster than a Jinx? Which is like seven, almost ten levels ahead of behind us. Why aren't you faster than that? Bronzong, okay. Well, it's either heat proof or it's either. It could be one of the two. It could either be heat proof or levitate. I think he's probably going to go a heat proof one. So I'm going to go into X Kun. Yeah, I think he's gone for a heat proof one over levitate. If it was me, I'd go for a heat proof one over levitate, but like, I don't know what he's done. Oh, he has gone for a levitate one. I could have gone for the. Uh, I could have stayed in, that means. I guess crunch is like my only option now. I can't switch out at this moment in time, and you're going to set up all these screens, and I can't. I don't have any uh, way of taking them down. That's annoying. Okay, mistake number one, Joe. But we can handle this. Oh, Bronzong knows Earthquake. x Kun, stay alive, please. Oh my god, that was a crit. I need to heal. I did buy Hyper Potions. I oh my god, why did I not buy Hyper Potions? I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of healing items for this. Okay, this won't crit. Hopefully, this won't crit. And we'll see how much damage this actually does. And hopefully it's not too much. I said this won't crit. Stop critting me. You need to stop critting me. This needs to stop critting me. I can't handle you critting me. Right now, this is not a good idea for you to crit me, because that means I have to heal spam, and I don't want to heal spam because it's not entertaining for my for my subscribers. Now, please, do not crit me with Earthquake. How many times do I have to tell you this, Bronzong? Do not crit. Do not crit. So I can get an aspect of what your actual damage is and see if I can actually stay in against it. I said stop critting me. Do you have like scope lens or something that like constantly says, here, have a critical hit? You might have something like scope lens if you keep on critting me. Um Who's defensive enough to take an earthquake? Especially if it crits. Like it's been doing for a while now. Well, Exekun is still the uh, best. It's still my best bet, which annoys me because the fact is he keeps on critting me with this darn move. I want you to stop critting me so I can actually hit you. If you like three crits in a row, there, guys, you understand why I'm heal spamming right now. Right? Can you not crit me this time, so I can actually hit you with a move, please? 
Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I can handle that much damage. And I guess we'll go for the crunch. You're going to heal, aren't you? Okay, I can... What I can do here is I know he's going to heal. I know he's going to heal. So I can switch out. I know that for sure. I can switch out here. But who do I go into? No kickstart, come out of here, please. I know it's weird bringing in a fighting type against a, a psychic type trainer, but I knew he was going to heal there, and I think I outspeed enough to try and go for a blaze kick. I know I outspeed. I've got speed boost. I know I outspeed. So I really need you to hit the blaze kick here. Uh, and this should kill because it's like stab and it's powerful and he's got an adamant nature and everything should kill. Okay. It did. Okay, God of War coming in. I'm going to switch. Come on, Starkiller. You know what to do. Go for the crunch and see if that does enough damage. Come on, we're Dark Electric type. This is now Stab, so this is powerful. Come on, Do Come on, God of War. Die. Oh, it's a crit. Not even bad. And a Zatu. Um, Thunderbolt. Heat wave. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. He. I wasn't expecting heat wave, but I'll. Okay. I know we have a le a negative nature when it comes to special attack, but it still should kill. A slow bro. Okay. Crunch, please. Kill, do a lot of damage. I might not kill. Might not kill. Slow bros are all three defensive. Oh, it's a crit. Not even bad. Well done, Star Killer. Okay. First member of the Elite Four down. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling till I stand above all trainers. Now go on and experience the velocity of the Elite Four again. Okay. I don't have a lot of potions, but uh, the ones I do have... Let's use lemonades to uh, help ourselves out here. So I will keep on using lemonade. And then we'll be fully healed, and then we'll take on the second member of Elite Four in today's episode, hopefully. I think that'll do it, actually. Okay, so, I guess we're looking at bug and poison types here, so uh, let's do this already. This cadaver is offering to teleport you. Which room would you like to go to? I'd like to go to the second room, please. Okay, we'll save the game to make sure everything went fine and we won't we won't have too much problems. You always want to save that game just in case you have some problems. And let's go for it. 
I am Kogo for the Elite Four. I live in shadows, a ninja. Allow me, uh, my inductive style will confuse and destroy you. Confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, eat, poison. Prepare yourself to be victim of my sinister techniques. <laughs> uh, Pokemon are not merely brute force. You'll soon see. You'll see soon enough. Koga. Okay, Koga starts off with a uh, Toxic Root, level 78. That's power. But we have Aerial Ace. That's kind of power. Is it enough power? It's not enough power. Damn, I was hoping it would be enough power. Okay, we can two shot it. Nice work, Kickstart. Crowbat, I have to switch. I have to switch on a Crowbat. I know I'm like so powerful in speed right now, but the fact is, Crowbats are dangerous. You have to switch on Crowbats. You turn. Oh wait, I'm super, I'm now dark type, aren't I? So that's super effective on me. I might have to switch out here. I might have to switch out. Yeah, I definitely have to switch out here. Okay. Okay, you seem to not be going for many bug types. You're a poison. I need to remember you're a poison type trainer. Oh, wait. I was going to go for Earthquake. Stop doing my moves. Right, you need to not crit me. Thank you. Now I can do some damage to you. You're not like the other guy who decided to say, oh, I'm going to crit you three times in a row. You have lefties? Wow. X couldn't destroy, please. X couldn't come on. Destroy, please, 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 please. Okay, down goes the swat. Okay. And a Venomoth. Well, that's something I don't think many of us can deal with right now. I think I have to go into Star Killer. And I want to go for the Fire Fang. It's not stab, but it should do a lot. It won't, might not kill though, because he might, he might hang in. Bug Buzz. Starkiller, you need to stay alive, please stay alive. Oh. This might be the end of the lock right here, guys. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I don't know who to go into. Back, you're going to have to try and solo this with uh, moves like Psychic and stuff. Come on, Becky, you can do this. I'm believing you. Oh, you, you... 
That was that was not very effective, but it did a lot of damage. I'm happy about that. Okay. Down goes the venom off. Come on, Bet, you nurse. Skunk tank, that's power. Oh, sucker punch. No, Beck, stay alive, please, please stay alive. Oh, your dark type. Your dark type. I have to switch. I have to switch. There's no other way about it. I have to switch. Okay, you don't hate your trainer very much. Okay, so super effective earthquake, please come through and destroy this skunk tank. I don't need Peppy with a pew being annoying today. Destroy the skunk. Please destroy the skunk. Okay, skunk tank down. Here comes that crowbat again. Okay, I need to do where uh, I need to do some healing. If you're gonna U turn out of here, I need to I might need to heal again. After I heal, if you're gonna U turn out, I need to hit I might need to heal again. Okay, you're not U turning out. Then I can stay in and use strength. Okay. Heat wave? I don't know where you're going with all these moves that I aren't very effective against my rock type Pokemon. But strength should kill strength is stab and it should do a lot of damage. Possibly kill, maybe not kill. Okay, killed. Cool. Then muck. I gotta stay in, I gotta stay in. And Earthquake should destroy the Muck. It's not Stab, but it is power. Not Stab, is power. So should do damage. Should do a serious amount of damage against the Muck. I'm scared, but it should be fine. Okay. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Keep advancing through the league and test your abilities. Okay. I need to heal like now. Okay. And Kickstart can have a heal too. And you can have a lemonade, because you're not that damaged. Sadly, a star killer did die, but uh, I think we're okay at this moment in time. We'll be going in to face the next trainer of the Elite Four in the next episode. How many uh, psychics do you have left, Beck? You have seven. Okay. I don't know if I need... I might need to give you one of these a lick. Yeah, I think I need to give you one of these ethers. Okay, so in the next episode, we will be going up against the next two members of the Elite Four. We'll be going against Bruno and Karen. And then in the, ex in the episode after that, we'll be facing the champion. And hopefully, we'll beat Lance by hook or by crook and be able to go on to take on Red. And if we do get, if we're able to take on, if we do get past Lance and we're able to take on Red, 
we will be merging season one team with season two team to uh, bring you sort of like the aftermath of see you know, sort of a aftermath series of season sort of season three maybe I don't know what to call it but like it's not really season three because it's not going to be a full season but it's like bonus episodes because you know. Red's like the ultimate trainer, but like the lock is still not ended because, you know, we've still got powerful Pokemon. And of course, we have our guys who survived the Elite Four last time round who deserve to, their opportunity to face Red. But until next time, I am Juice PH Games. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Answer today's question of the day, which of course is Who is your favorite Elite Four member from Johto? Is it Will? Is it Koga? Is it Karen? Or is it Bruno? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, I am Juice PH Games, and I am out. See you again.